are listening to Catholic Meditation. Greetings, beloved of the Lord, and welcome. I am Father Blessed Ambang Njume. Today is Friday, the 10th of February, 2023. It is Friday of the fifth week in Ordinary Time, Church Year A. Today is the memorial of St. Scholastica, Virgin. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. As we celebrate anew the memorial of the Virgin, St. Scholastica, we pray, O Lord, that following her example, we may serve you with pure love and happily receive what comes from loving you. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. The first reading is taken from the book of Genesis, chapter 3, verses 1 to 8. The responsorial psalm is taken from Psalm 32. The response to the psalm is, Blessed is he whose transgression is forgiven. The gospel is taken from St. Mark, chapter 7, verses 31 to 37. Our meditation is drawn from the first reading. The serpent was more subtle than any other wild creature that the Lord God had made. He said to the woman, Did God say you shall not eat of any tree of the garden? And the woman said to the serpent, We may eat of the fruit of the trees of the garden, but God said, You shall not eat of the fruit of the tree which is in the midst of the garden, neither shall you touch it, lest you die. But the serpent said to the woman, You will not die, for God knows that when you eat of it, your eyes will be opened, and you will be like God, knowing good and evil. So when the woman saw that the tree was good for food and that it was a delight to the eyes and that the tree was to be desired to make one wise, she took of its fruits and ate. And she also gave some to her husband and he ate. Then the eyes of both were opened and they knew that they were naked and they sewed thick leaves together and made themselves aprons. And they heard the sound of the Lord God walking in the garden in the cool of the day. And the man and his wife hid themselves from the presence of the Lord God among the trees of the garden. The Word of the Lord The theme for today's meditation is Be watchful. Your temptation and what will destroy you is always around you. Be watchful. Your temptation and what will destroy you is always around you. Beloved of the Lord, today's reading from the book of Genesis records the temptation from the devil and the fall of Adam and Eve. They disobeyed God and ate of the tree that God forbade them. Oftentimes, when someone has done something evil, and they ask forgiveness, we hear them say, I apologize, please forgive me, it was the work of the devil. I guess you would have heard people say so, or perhaps you would have said so yourself, it is the work of the devil. I have heard others say, in a very derogatory way. Please leave the devil out of this. 
admit that it is your own and not the devil's work. Leave the devil out of this. The question to ask is, how would the devil have worked if you did not give him the space? How would the devil have made use of you if you did not allow him to make use of you? The point is, we create the environment and the devil makes use of it. I tell you, do not create the space and the devil will never use you. No wonder it is said, an idle mind is the devil's workshop. If you are idle, you are creating space and environment and the devil will make use of you. So do you blame him? Blame yourself for being idle. Blame yourself for giving the devil the opportunity. If the devil could get the better of Adam and Eve, it was because they provided room for it. How? Today's first reading tells us exactly how. What was Eve doing around the forbidden tree? You see, she was standing around it and it was already an opportunity for the devil to meet her. If she had not first desired it in her heart, it would have been a difficult thing for the devil to get her. It would have been a no-go area for the devil. But the devil knew that she had desired it somehow and she had been turning around it. We are told in today's first reading, she saw that it was good to eat, meaning at some point she had desired it and the devil knew and saw it. The death that will kill a man begins as an appetite. Our temptations, dear friends, always come around what we like and what we are best at. If you are an alcohol lover, your temptations will always come around that. And because you have a soft spot for it, it is easy for the devil to clear you off your feet around that area. The devil lets you create the space and he takes advantage. Eve had been turning around and definitely the devil knew that she had desired it in some way and he came and took advantage of it. Secondly, do not entertain evil, beloved, for it will consume you. When the devil came, he started with a very subtle conversation. Remember, he is very cunning, very wise. He told Eve, Did God say that you should not eat of any of the trees in the garden? Listen to his words. Did God say that you should not eat of any of the trees in the garden? Of course, he knew that they had to eat of the trees, but of a particular tree. And Eve began to entertain the conversation. No, uh, God did not say we should not eat of any. We, we, we should eat of any one we like, but not of this one. She began to entertain the devil. And oh, she did not know that the devil was a man of tricks, full of cunning. And because she began to entertain the devil, that was how he swept her off her feet. The same with us, beloved. When you entertain the devil, when you entertain evil thoughts, when you entertain the evil things that happen in your mind, the devil will get the better of you. Therefore, when those thoughts come, the best thing to do is to clear them off your mind. If Eve had told the devil, get behind me, Satan, I do not even want to talk with you, I do not want to entertain you, the devil would have gone with shame. But she entertained it. How many times have your friends brought evil conversations to you and you opened your ears and entertained them? That was how they spoiled your mind. That was how they corrupted you and you went into evil. How many times have you watched evil and you continued to entertain? How many times, even in your mind's eye, has evil been played like a movie and you entertained it? Dear friend, immediately it comes Wash it away. Say, get behind me, Satan, and the devil will move away in shame with his tail in between his legs. But if you entertain his conversation, I tell you, he will be very cunning, and with his tricks, he will sweep you off your feet. 
Have you ever also asked why the devil came to Eve? He knew, definitely, there is always someone who is a weaker party. He knew that getting Eve, he would get Adam. Because getting Eve, Eve would get Adam. Therefore, even among your friends, there are some whom the devil will use in order to get you. Be careful, therefore, of the kind of company you keep. Be watchful, dear friends. Your temptation and what will destroy you is always around you. It may be what you like. It may be a particular friend. But be careful, because the disease and the death that will kill a man begins as an appetite. What are those things that you have a soft spot for? The devil knows, and he brings them to you. When he knows that you are someone who likes sleep, he makes you to enjoy sleep, and before you discover, you are late for mass. You are late for some spiritual activity. You are late for your office. If the devil knows that you have a soft spot for this particular friend, he always brings a friend to you because he has already had the friend, and from that friend, you find yourself falling. Watch, therefore, the kind of company you keep. Watch, therefore, the kinds of things you turn around, for your temptation never goes far away from you. It is always around you and always around the things you like. Do not entertain the devil. Do not entertain his tricks. He is too smart and cunning for you. Be careful. If you entertain him, he will derail you and clear you off your feet. Do not give the devil a chance. Do not give him an opportunity. Do not entertain him and he will flee away from you. Let us pray for that grace through the intercession of St. Scholastica. She was the sister of St. Benedict, whose feast is celebrated on the 11th of July. She consecrated herself to God and lived the monastic life with great zeal and faith, thus becoming a beacon of holiness, peace, and strength to the Christians of central Italy. She died in the year 547 at the age of 67. Through her intercession, may we stand watchful, being careful against the devil and his tricks, for your temptation and what will destroy you is always around you. We wish a happy feast day to all those who go by the name Scholastica and to institutions named after her. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen.